Hello there! Today we will demonstrate a new product that we call our Provider app. This app will help you dispatch trips from the Provider portal to your drivers. Your drivers will be able to view all of their trips, receive special trip instructions, and record trip data straight from their smartphones. To begin, let's start in the Provider portal. We'll first assign a few trips to your drivers with this new feature that you'll find in the Assign Trips to Drivers tab. On this tab, you can see all of the trips that you have already confirmed. Let's say you want to assign the trips for specific pickup dates to specific drivers. You can easily do that here. Let's start by using the filters at the top. For this example, I have set the pickup date from January 1st to January 24th and the vehicle type to all. You can assign drivers to a trip inside the portal or you can export the trips using the export button. If you have a large number of trips, we recommend trying the export button. After opening the downloaded file, you can see that this Excel sheet has an additional column called driver. All of your registered drivers will appear in a dropdown next to each field. You can see the down button here. You can now quickly pick a driver for each trip. You can also use the Excel function to drag one name down the column if you would like to assign several trips to one driver. For the demo purpose, I will leave two fields blank and show you what happens if you forget to assign a driver to a trip. Make sure to save your Excel file. Once you've assigned a driver to each trip on your Excel file, you'll need to upload those assignments back into the portal. You can do this by simply clicking the Upload button and selecting the correct Excel file. After you've uploaded the file, you will see an alert that two trips have not been assigned to drivers. To correct these errors, you can download the error file. When you open the error file, you will see just the two trips that we left blank earlier. Assign drivers to these trips, save your file, and re-upload your file to the portal. On the upload summary, you can also see how many trips have been correctly assigned. After you click Confirm, you will see a summary window that highlights your driver assignments. You will see a quick summary of how many trips were assigned to each driver for each pickup date. Make sure the data looks correct and then click Confirm to send your driver assignments to the portal. There's one last trick that I want to show you in case you need to make a quick change to a trip. As we mentioned earlier, you can easily change the assigned driver directly in the portal. For example, let's say the current driver is Peter Newman. You could reassign this trip to someone else by simply clearing the field and assigning a new driver using the drop-down field. Let's go with Tom Sanders. The system will automatically update the assigned driver information once it's been changed. And that's it. You've now assigned all of your trips to drivers, and it's time to review the provider app. Now that we have learned how to upload trips and driver assignments to the provider portal, let's review what the driver's experience looks like in the new provider app. To start, drivers will log into the app using their email address or phone number and password. These credentials can be managed in the provider portal under the Options tab. After they logged in, they will see an overview of all the trips that are available for today's date, arranged by pickup time. Please note, drivers can only see trips that are available for the current day. When they are ready to start driving, they will tap the Start Taking Trips button to go to the vehicle selection screen. Here, they simply need to input the vehicle number or license plate number. Once they find their vehicle from the search bar, they can tap on it and a confirmation pop-up will appear with details about the vehicle they selected. If this looks like the right vehicle, they can tap Confirm this vehicle to sign into the vehicle and start taking trips. After confirming the vehicle, drivers will see the schedule page with all of their trips for the day. To begin a trip with a member, they will need to swipe the Begin Trip button under the corresponding member's name. If there are trip instructions, they will pop up after they swipe the button. To start the trip, they will need to check the box next to each instruction and then click Confirm. Once they have started the trip, they can click on the additional options in the right upper corner to view a map, estimated time, and suggested route for each trip.
When the driver arrives at the pickup location, they will need to swipe Arrived at Pickup under the corresponding member's name, and the app will double confirm the address. They will also see a reminder of any trip instructions specific to this pickup. They can now start the trip once the member is in the vehicle. When the driver reaches the drop-off location, they can swipe Drop-off is done under the specific mem member. If there are specific instructions related to this drop-off, they will see them now. They can mark this trip as completed after checking all the instructions. Please note that drivers will not be able to log out of the app if there is still a trip in progress. Drivers are also able to manage multiple trips at once, also known as multi-loading, using the app. Here are a few other features about the new provider app. Drivers can view all the trips they have completed under Trip History. If they want to see more details about a past trip, they can tap on a specific trip and it will show the trip number, date, amount, and pickup and drop-off times. And if a member forgot an item in a vehicle, they can tap on Forgotten Items to report the lost item through the app. As a reminder, here are a few of the benefits you'll find in the new Provider app. That's it! If you have any questions about the Provider app, please email them to providersupport at veo.com. Thanks and have a great day!